Today we'll be using the Heavy Edit Splatling Nouveau. A neat alternative to the original kit where the original kit is more supportive and while this one is still supportive because of the main weapon being supportive, it also kind of gives you a little bit more agency to do some more things that maybe the original kit wouldn't let you do. Comes with a Splat Bomb which is actually pretty nice to poke longer ranged weapons. Curling Bomb really couldn't do that unless there was flat terrain but even then you're not really poking them that easily because it slowly approaches you. Not very menacing. It's also nice, similar to having it on the range blaster where it's a good get off me tool if people are chasing you or if you just want to retreat and throw it at people while you're running away. Since it is a splatling, you're not using your sub weapon too often unless you are locked out or something, which I'm not particularly good at remembering. It is an important piece in your toolkit and it is not bad by any means. I've said this before, but any weapon really enjoys to have a lethal bomb just because it's nice to have some immediate pressure to back people off or just scare people off of a position. The special weapon you're painting for is Crab Tank. It's another really nice option just to have. If you are locked out from longer ranged weapons, well, now you can just paint and get a longer ranged weapon yourself. Since the turret mode does work similar to your main weapon, you should feel pretty comfortable using it and the shots will feel a lot more consistent compared to using it when switching from something like Splash, where the shot velocity is slightly slower, but but you have a lot more range on it. Of course, you still have the lobbing shots, which work pretty nice to clear platforms and things like that. And it's also nice to have your splat bomb to follow up off of those lobbing shots once your crab tank ends, since you do have a full link tank. Overall, it's a very nice kit and it fits the main weapon pretty decently as a more aggressive option compared to the original kit. Original kit, you're painting for tacticalers more. But on this weapon, you're painting for your crabs a lot just because it is a nice good entry option when you're just kind of stuck behind cover and you don't really feel comfortable poking back lines or things like that. By the way, the goal is three wins and if we get three in a row without any losses, we'll go for a fourth one. I'll see you in the first match. All right, match number one. We are dealing with a bit of a balanced team here. They'll have plenty of paint for sure for their sharking weapon. Biggest scare here is obviously the charger. Never really been terribly good against fighting them so we're going to be playing cover to our advantage just trying to make sure our cut part of the map is covered in paint and making sure that charger cannot advance on us the best we can we do have a bomb to poke it when we need to we just need to keep the guy at range and try to catch the um oh he's still not dead yet why not oh he still didn't die okay that's not great we're gonna watch this side take care of him all right you're dead good and we've already got a claim in that's great Go ahead and move forward here. Try to throw these in. All right, we'll go for a full charge. Okay, he gets his vac off, though. Honestly, I don't mind taking that there because it does give me a power climb. However, we do want to just kind of back up and start playing cover again. So now the charger knows exactly where I'm at. I don't know where he's at. I think he's going to grab the power climb. We're trying to keep tabs on him at all points because spotlings have a terrible time against chargers. That's just kind of their thing. I think I want to give this to you. They're very good. They're very nice. Okay. Roller is down. The only one left alive. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. If we could track correctly here, we would have actually won that fight, but I'm being a little too rigid in my aiming. Um, shot velocity is very slow on this weapon, so you will have to be careful uh, when you're not fully charged. When you're fully charged, it's fine. It's a little bit less than Nautilus. Like, this is not fully charged. This is just, you know, partial, almost full charge, and this will be full charged. But you can see it's a lot faster um, than it is, you know, whenever it's not fully charged. Spotlings in general are a slower shot velocity class, but, um, you know, the shorter range spotlings are generally worse. The main exception to the rule is um, Nautilus, which has probably one of the fastest shot velocities in the game. I'm very surprised he hasn't died yet. That's actually very surprising. He got hit with so many shots. I'm still trying to keep this charger at bay while painting over his shots. He can very easily just paint a path for his teammates here. So I'm just trying to keep this held down. I have crab now. It's a very nice special to just have. I'm gonna try to just fill him up. All right, tried to get the kill there. Unfortunately, the um, vacuum just lasted too long. I was trying to fill it up um, so I could actually splat through the both the stamp and maybe the vacuum user too. At the very least, eat the vacuum shot with my crab, but that didn't really happen there. Uh, don't really know who's still alive, but we need to start trying to take space. Okay, Charger is down, so we get pretty much free range to actually poke up to their platform. We need to make sure that that's not happening. I believe that's their Charger jumping in. That is actually the Roller jumping in. All right, I'm just going to keep playing behind cover here. I'll go for a full charge. 
Yeah, he's just kind of throwing bombs. So we should actually be able to get this. Very good. We've taken the lead. That's nice. And I probably should go back and get Clems, but I do want to keep helping in the fight because this is a good slaying weapon. Okay, so Charger is still alive. Did not expect that. Um, Yeah, I thought it was going to be the Charger, maybe. Bad on my part for not keeping tabs on who was respawning and who was not. All right, so Charger, or not the Charger, the Roller. Different one-shot weapon. Uh, staying in our spawn, not really doing much. I'm going to try to maybe help with some suppressing fire. So if you want to shoot for longer, you're going to use your partial charges. If you want to shoot real, really quickly, high DPS, then you'll use a full charge. Um, suppressing fire is okay. Again, you will have to suffer from that lower shot velocity and the slower kill time as well. So you'll be missing some more shots. All right, we'll take the trade there. I'm fine with that. I do lose crab, but I think our friends will find uh, we really aren't the front line, or the, yeah, the front line. Um, we're more the mid line, back line in this match because we don't really have a lot of range for our weapons anyways, as is. If he tries to chase, I'm going to try to catch him off guard. Just tell me lead my shot there because you have to. You know, when they're moving that quickly, you just kind of have to stop them. All right, take him out. That's good. Charger is the only one alive. Oh, I'm not really going to worry about it making a long push there. I actually got a friend, though. Should be able to get the kill, maybe. All right, well, I can't stop yet. Again, lots of weird things just not killing. I'm very surprised that the um, crab burst did not kill there, but oh well. Keeping it on the left, making sure they're not just flanking us. Hold on, he's got some damage. I'm just going to go for a full charge behind this little hill here. It's kind of this way coming out, but I don't really um, expect us to get that in. I'm just trying to hold here in case their front line pushes forward. That charger is the only thing really holding us back. If he rushes forward, yeah, we're fine. And if they get that in, we're okay. I uh, probably should not have died to the stamp, but our brush will clean up and they won't really be able to get anyone else in. Even if they do, we had such a great lead from that secondary push that uh, we'll easily just be able to defend that. So, yeah, there we go. There's our first win. All right. Match number two. We're looking at more of a midline presence this match. We're not worrying about any chargers or anything. So we're going to be both kind of, you know, throwing ourselves at each other. Since we are still technically kind of the more supportive of the bunch, um, you know, the Splatana Stamper is longer range than we are, but they're going to be more aggressive than we are. Try to shred that crab at the very least. Got a lot of health all of it, so we'll have to play a little safer. Um, not great, probably trading my life for only getting a little bit of damage on it, but it did just kind of pop out there and I was too stubborn to actually move out of the way. So this is interesting. I should be able to stop him. And I don't think that Zuka can reach me quite yet. He's actually fighting the guy over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to clean up some paint this way. And there was actually someone over there. I did ignore the calls for this way. That's fine, though. All right. That's the Nautilus. Yes, got him. Okay. Brush is going to be interesting. We'll go for a longer, just regular charge. That way we can kind of just keep aiming at him and not have to worry about wasting our shots. You can definitely be more conservative with your shots when you use the slower, ring for, or slower fire rate. All right. We'll start shooting lob shots over on their platform just to kind of deny space. There we go. And then we'll throw a bomb too to just kind of combo on that. Maybe get some damage on them as well. All right. That's the brush. Try to back away from him, but he is a very fast weapon. Interesting to note, we do have double flings us, so our paint actually shouldn't be that terrible, and it hasn't really been. All right. They get that in. I'm just going to honestly throw a bomb and just try to get these five in. Going to jump back to save my life and whatever charge I have of my crab tank left and actually charge it. We still have people putting in points anyway, so I'm fine with that. There is only one and he's fixing to have to fight. He actually died there, so we're just going to get into a defensive position. All right, so Brush is really just trying to bait us out. I'm not really going to let him do that because, you know, his teammates can easily pick us off if we're not careful. However, I did get a crab. Yeah, there we go. We'll get the crab. Uh Oh, we don't have anyone over here. OK, that's fine. The Nautilus did chase, but we were protected by our crab tank long enough. He's going to splash down. Unfortunately, lose our friend, but that's fine. Just going to move around as quick as possible. That's where our run speed is better than the Nautilus is. Nautilus is notoriously bad at running because it is made for swimming a lot. All right, don't have a lot of ink here, so I'm just going to go for a full charge. Try to clear some space around this approach and then just back off. There's a whale here, so it's going to make it a little awkward, but that's fine. All right. Spread some damage maybe on this brush. I just don't want to get into flanking territory for the enemy. I'm really just trying to play the, you know, one who kind of stays back and maybe get someone who's trying to get around us. 
Brush is really just trying to kite us there, make sure it's not getting in any dangerous range. So I'm just going to try to stay back and play it safe. We do have lead, so we can play it a little bit more safe. That's crab, though. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Hold on. There we go. We got the brush fixing to die, though. So we'll just stay in our crab and heal. Not sure if the Nautilus is still here. I don't think he is. We'll wait and see if someone's going to take the bait and actually rush our platform. They're actually shooting a um, Zooka there, so we need to be careful. That's just a shooter, so I can actually chase him down. If it were the Nautilus, I would have had to play a little bit safer because we have about the same range, I believe. But it was just the splatter shot, I think. So, yeah, we're fine. I might want to take this side. Now, look, this is a little bit more cleared up. I have a little bit more space to move. That was actually a bad play. I did not realize he was hiding there. Should have waited for some more information to see where the duallys are at because he was alive for a pretty long time. Teammates get a wipeout. That's very nice. I'm going to go ahead and just start gathering clams and throwing it up on their platform. That way they can just kind of start putting them down. Now, I'm sure as many people like to do, someone's probably going to... Um... All right, we'll get rid of the brush. Yeah, they'll keep putting in clams. That's great. All right, we're fine. Just stay alive. I'm going to throw a bomb on the retreat. Maybe get someone. Even if I don't, just save up for another one. Right there. I don't think we'll be able to get it, though. All right, I'm just going to jump out. Don't want to fight the crab. I probably could have put in that last clam unless I gathered it while we were backing up. I do believe they're going to probably just try to push on all sides here. I can outmaneuver the Nautilus here. They're getting really close on this side, so we need to be careful. They did just kind of waste both of their clams, though. Only thing we have to worry about is actually no one, I believe. Okay, well, there's a Zuka, but we're not really afraid of that. And they've got overtime because they have that less clam, but we should be fine. Just throw a bomb. Stop them from approaching. Try to get this Nautilus. Our friend actually gets them. That's really nice. See the Dooley's over here. Not going to let him approach. Even if they get that, they do not have enough time to even land it in there. So, yeah, there we go. There's our second win. Okay, match number three. We are now kind of fighting a similar team to what ours was last time. Look, likes the double flings that, and there's no splatling or anything. In fact, it's mostly different, but it still has the Splatana Stamper and one of the flings us. One of the flings us. Um, so this will be interesting. Since the Bamboozler is still a type of charger, we will have an interesting time fighting it. Got someone over here. I do want to just kind of play this safely. I don't know who's lurking over here, so we want to wait and figure out who is over there. I do believe I did see, yes, the bamboozler over this way. And the stamper is also going to have an easy time on us if it does get the jump. So I'm going to try that. I am just kind of keeping my eyes off of this for a little too long. So we're going to try to keep the flings of bat. And maybe, yeah, just get our crab. We'll wait for a chance to use it. That way we can maybe initiate a push. At the very least, you have some clear goals with this weapon. Farm your crab, kill some people, and then, you know, start making a push off of that. There we go. We'll take care of him. Actually got two people, so we should start maybe moving. All right. If I die here, that's fine. They should be able to finish him off. At the very least, scare him off long enough. Actually, no, we lost two people over there, too. So that was a bit of a failed push attempt there. I should have just popped crab and, well, I don't know. That's not really a great spot to pop crab because it's not high up. You really want your crabs to be high up so you have a better vantage point of fights, especially if you want to support. At the very least, try to take him out. Um, Splashdown in this game is odd. It's really just something people like to use to suicide button. It gets to be annoying. It's not the most difficult thing, especially considering, you know, a lot of times you will have cooler since that's a very popular special. Um, and half the time they just get killed out of it anyway, so it's more of an annoyance than anything. It just kind of gets on your nerves. It's just like, why did you just run up to me and pop that? And now you're dead and I'm dead. Because you really can't get out of the range of the splashdown in this game unless you shoot the specific fist that's aiming at you. It's very odd. Um, is it better than it was in 2? Sure. Uh, you don't just immediately die on it and not get any value out of it. But it's also not amazing. Did I, was there a power claim that we just let down there? That's my bad if there was. All right, yeah, we're just kind of losing a lot of spots here. So I know there's someone down there. I'm going to maybe try to catch him off guard. It didn't really work out that well. I'm very curious what that little splash of ink was. And I apparently got one shot by the Splatana, unless I just took the damage from the roller and the Splatana at the same time. Uh, we're having a hard time actually getting momentum here, and that's a little scary. 
try to use our run speed to maybe maneuver this way. Yeah, this is a bit of an interesting spot to be in because I have no help really. Just trying to stay alive at this point. We'll have to make a push of our own anyway, so I'm not really too afraid of it. There we go. He's taking two hits. Good job. He ran out of ink anyways, so bit of a unsatisfying kill. All right, we'll go ahead and just try to get map control in mid underway. I might want to be a little more aggressive, though we... Okay, no, I'm really noticing our specials are not the best. We have two really actual, you know, Splatoon 2 splashdown specials where they don't really do much. And I missed that. That's not good. Shouldn't have really... I should have just grabbed that and backed off. I didn't think I had enough time to actually back away, but I really did. They might still get that in, so that's pretty good. Don't really expect much to come out of this, though. Okay, well, never mind. We got the lead. That's pretty good. Throw a bomb down there at that fight. I doubt. Oh, wait, no, he's still alive. He's going to get some clams in, too. That's pretty good. I think just cleaning up mid right now is going to be good. Maybe take a surprise fight. That would be pretty good. I'm just going to go for a full charge here. If they're expecting anything, I'm just going to try to stop them. They all have a point sensor pretty much on them. Who on our team has the point sensor? Uh, none of them. I think they just hit a mine, actually. All right, yeah, we don't want to fight the charger. Sorry, we're backing away. Boy, this is a bit interesting to fight. Okay. Well, we've kind of just lost some map control as well. So right now, maybe just help out in this fight. At the very least, keep paint on the map. Throw a bomb at them. Back them off. If he's... Okay. No, there's missiles too. Wow, this is a fun team to fight. Lots of AoE. Okay, we're good. Stop this guy. There we go. Now the scariest member on their team is down. Though I do still have to be careful of the bamboozler. He's just kind of moving about, so I'm just going to throw a bomb at him and back off. Um, we're already almost done with this match. This has been a very quick feeling match. Try to get this guy. Come on now. There we go. Finally. Do they even have a power clam? Uh, they really have to get a power clam, but they really didn't seem interested in doing that. So we'll take our third win for some reason. All right. Match number four since we got three in a row. Um, interesting. We will have a kind of mobile counter, which is the ballpoint spotling. They outrange us and they are, I want to say a little bit faster than us, but their shot velocity and fire rate, I believe is just a little bit slower at long ranges. Uh, we're okay. We're actually pretty even. I was going to say we're not doing great. I thought we lost two people, but we did not. And they actually have lost two people. So we actually should have a pretty good time. This is not going to end well for me, though. Oh, yeah, I thought that had blown up. I'm just kind of ignoring stuff. My spatial awareness is not terribly great today. In fact, we did lose two people there. And we only really have one person up front here, so I'm just going to go for a long charge. It's going to be another interesting team to have to fight. Lots and lots of AOE, and they are really trying to get value out of their bombs there. Um, the, he doesn't really have any sub saver either, so he's just kind of chucking them whenever he gets the chance. So since this is going to be interesting, we kind of have to team up and, you know, take them down as we can. They're not focusing too much on clams, so I'm just going to maybe get paint. And since we're just struggling a little bit here, yeah, we're, we're having some trouble with paint. So we'll go ahead and try to get a crab and back them off of our territory. That's what I really should have been playing for at the start. Try to get the dapples. Dapples are really just trying to be aggressive here, so we'll be careful. That is the cooler variant, so we do need to be careful and notice whenever he has it. That way, you know, we can't really count his respawn times too long whenever he has it. Repeating a lot of dialogue lines today. Uh, we've got this here. We should be able to take out whoever that is. I'm going to shoot this here. Get a crossfire going, maybe, for a team. Never mind. That's fun, though. If they poked out anywhere throughout that little block, they would have been completely shredded. So we're good with that. Throw a bomb down there at the well string while he's just kind of shooting at us. I think we're fine. Hold on. Okay, well, um, if I had aimed a little bit quicker and better there, again, leading your shot is incredibly important. You can't just laser people down unless you are leading it correctly. You know, that tiny little bit of amount of movement that they do, you know, just kind of do sometimes. Again, I'm, I'm not speaking very clearly today. I apologize. All right, we'll take care of him. Just going to try to stay back here. Their barrier is down, so we should be able to get this in too. Just going to go for paint. Be careful, throw a bomb, back up, recover some meat, get behind cover. Uh, actually, I should be gathering clams. That's a better use of my time. Hopefully he gets those in. Good job. Toss those to them. There's actually a few more that spawned in, so that's great for us. Just keep the push going. There's only one over here, surprisingly. Uh, last time we played on this map, there were actually three that spawned in, so that's pretty nice. All right, very good. 
All we need is one more clam, and that should be very easy for us to get and finish off with. And there we go. Actually, our friend got the claim in last. So, uh, yeah, there's our fourth and final win. Not too terrible. And there's four wins with the heavy edit Spotlight Nouveau. Did not go bad at all. Uh, this is the first time we've actually seen four wins in a while. And yeah, it's actually pretty consistent. Once you get used to the shot velocity on the weapon, you will still be missing a little bit, but it does feel a lot nicer. It can shred pretty easily if you are playing behind cover correctly and letting your teammates take aggro whenever they are getting into fights. And just having a very decent amount of mobility, especially with the run speed we've packed on, really helps us, you know, stay alive even in fights that we're not really too used to taking with other weapons. Either way, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a comment below and maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.